Welcome back to another SnowRunner truck review. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new exciting Phase 6 edition that could rival its brother who has been the lone wolf Tega up until now. So before we start, I ask that you please help support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into it and check it out. The Kras 255 is a tactical Russian truck that was developed in the 1960s and replaced the earlier Kras 214 on the production line. The original 255 was then replaced by the B model which had improved braking and structural improvements. From there, the B model was then replaced with newer improvement models as technology increased dramatically from 1967 to 1979. In SnowRunner, the Kras is represented by the Tega 6455B, the brother to the Tega 6436. With plenty of similarities, yet few differences, the Tega truck line has a very strong foothold as elite off-roaders. Throughout the video, some comparisons will be made between both Tega trucks, but the 6455B is a sibling to the 6436, not an identical twin. So before we dive into the pros and cons, let's take a look at the base stats. The Tega 6455B is classified as an off-road truck. It weighs 13.2 tons. In its stock configuration, it boasts a power to weight of A, a durability of A-, fuel consumption B+, fuel capacity is 330 liters or 88 gallons, it comes with a stock suspension, its tires also come stock with a 48 inch off-road tire, its all-wheel drive is always on, and its diff lock is always on as well. Alright, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Tega 6455B. And you know how it goes, bad news first, so coming in at downside number one, somewhat limited add-ons. I'm going to come right out front and just say, the Tega's downsides are similar to its brothers, yet there are some differences. For this one though, the 6436 and the Tega 6455B cannot use the logging crane, the maintenance frame add-on, the ramp towing platform, and the revered sideboard bed with a small crane. Like I've mentioned before, if these Tega trucks could use everything, they would be way too overpowered. However, I do need to mention that it can use a roof rack while the 6436 cannot. Downside number two, varied fuel consumption. Throughout testing, it's hard for me to determine whether it's better on fuel than its counterpart the 6436. However, I do think they are pretty similar. I found that the high range gearbox causes elevated burn values due to lack of RPM cap, so you'll see a higher consumption rate when the engine is working harder. Overall though, it seems a little bit sporadic, but those high values won't stick around for too long. Downside number three, wheel spin. To be quite plain, the custom mud balloon tires aren't the best for grip quality, especially when your engine is this strong. The 6455B has good tire options as we will learn, yet like the 6436, it does struggle with wheel spin as well. For this one, as usual, just be prepared to downshift. Also, it's not mentioned as a downside, but the 6455B is not as agile as its brother with its quick steering and tight turning radius. Downside number four, damage prone. Once again, similar to the 6436, due to the fast trailblazing nature of the Tega, it's known that it's going to get smashed up by SnowRunner's terrain. Even though lately I've enjoyed trail running at high speeds, I believe the slower pace will mitigate this downside. Downside number five, long frame. Our number five downside probably is the biggest issue for me performance wise. The occurrence of getting high centered has been more often than I ever expected. Its clearances are good, yet I still feel like I got caught up in places. Upon doing research on both Tegas, the Kras 6322 or the Tega 6436 actually is a longer vehicle than the Kras 255B or in game the Tega 6455B. I couldn't find any solid wheelbase stats, but the longer frame usually means a longer wheelbase as well. With this knowledge, to wrap this one up real quick, 
these wheelbase lengths should be similar, and in theory, the longer frame the vehicle should have a longer wheelbase as well, unless the front and rear overhangs are lengthened, which in real life is not the case. Russian off-road trucks really aren't known for their large overhangs. I mean, if you're going to give the vehicle a longer frame, at least allow the crane and sideboard bed combo. And finally, coming in at downside number six, it's hard to unlock. To save time, I'm not going to go in depth on how hard this truck is to unlock in the new phase six maps. However, I'm just going to say that if you thought unlocking the Tatcher Force, Tatra Phoenix, or even the Zik 605R was hard, then brace yourself for this one, folks. Plenty of cargo, traveling, repairing, along with multiple very large time-consuming contracts is essentially what you can expect. Well, as you can see, there's not too many huge red flags to hold drivers back from the Tega. Still, these upsides are quite impressive, so stick around. Here are the pros for the Tega 6455B. Coming in at the usual upside number one, power, all-wheel drive, and differential locking. It really wouldn't feel right if we didn't start off at the roots of the Tega's ability, which starts right here at upside number one. To make this one short and sweet, the shared Tega engine, coupled with the famous Russian always-on features, makes the 6455B a formidable rival to its counterpart. Upside number two, range. Despite my scrutiny of fuel consumption, I do have to say that the Tega does have good range due to its off-road skill and moderate consumption levels. As we will learn throughout the review, a vehicle's range is dependent on more than just fuel consumption rates. The 6455B although has a sporadic fuel consumption, I do feel however that it can handle those longer missions. Upside number 3, Ground Clearance. When comparing the Tegas, the 6455B has the upper hand in terms of ground clearance. If you compare them both side by side, it's clear that the 6455B sits higher and its fuel tanks are nowhere near the road surface. To wrap this one up, despite its number 5 downside, this is a welcomed upside to help mitigate those hangups. Upside number 4, Suspension and Tires. Once again folks, just like its sibling, the Tega has a very soft suspension and that suspension also has good travel as well, yet it does feel a little bit bouncy at times. That soft suspension helps with absorbing terrain shock, allowing the 6455B to stay firmly planted. As you have seen in the video, it does have large tires. Its base tire height is 48 inches, which is one more inch than the 6436's baseline. However, for some odd reason, it has a max tire height of 50 inches. I'm convinced that someone has made a mistake here. The 6436 has a 51 inch tire, yet for some odd reason, the 6455B does not. Regardless, its stock off-road tires I believe are custom and perform quite well if you don't plan on using the custom mud balloon tires. Upside number 5, Stability. Without going too far into it, the video really speaks for this upside better than I could. I drove on the same mountain that I used in my Tatra Phoenix video and it performed just as well. In short, it's admirable. And this brings me to our sixth and final upside, performance and it's forgiving. This review does seem similar to the 6436, but besides a few differences here and there, they both have elite performance values, making the Tega another safe zone, easy mode Russian truck. When drivers are searching their garage for a vehicle they can play with minimal attention to detail, terrain changes, and vehicle mechanics, it's probably going to be a Tega truck. Although the 6455B doesn't have that fast twitch agility and quick steering like the 6436 does, it's still a send it type of truck that can be trusted in some pretty rough spots. All right, so moving on to my personal ratings for this truck. For power, I gave it a four because it shares the same engine as the 6436. For terrain navigation, a rating of four. If its wheelbase was shorter and its steering was sharp and quick like its counterpart, 
this would be an easy five. Just like its brother, it's a really good stock platform as well. For aesthetics, I love the way the 6436 looked, and this one looks even more gritty. So, definitely a 5 here. Stability is easily one of the best in the game for a 6x6. I tested this truck harder than its brother, and it was quite impressive. Despite me being a skeptic, even with its sporadic fuel consumption, I have to say it's pretty decent most of the time. To be real, it might be missing some of those quality of life add-ons, but it can do almost every role in the game. Good weight, power, always on all wheel drive and differential locking, as well as its large custom mud tires, makes the Tega pretty strong when it comes to grip. So in conclusion, the Tega 6455B is very similar to its brother with some painful differences in my opinion. I rated this truck one point less due to those frustrations. However, my frustration mainly is that due to being mostly the same as the 6436, which is something we already have with a few minor annoying changes. First, why a 50 and not a 51 inch tire when its base tire height is larger than the 6436's? Second, the wheelbase issue. It's basically the same length yet aesthetically different in comparison to the white western star. It's just odd that its real life frame length is shorter than the model that the 6436 is based off of. And lastly, no new engine variant nor any variation in add-ons it can use compared to the 6436. I'm not really one to play mods for my own personal reasons, but I am starting to see why people use them. The developers seem to do the same thing over and over which is refurbish parts from other base game vehicles, reskinning, and then throw it all together and call it something new. I apologize for sounding so harsh and it's not taking anything away from this vehicle. These are just pure speculations and I do want to leave you with a positive perspective. Honestly, I am going to put this truck to use and I believe it's truly up there standing side by side with the 6436 in terms of performance. There are only a few vehicles I can truly just throw at the game and have success with minimal effort. And I believe this vehicle is one of them for sure. Whether you choose the 6455B or the 6436, you can trust that they have the right stuff to get the job done. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh, new perspective of the Tega 6455B. Please smash the like button. Definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope you all have a wonderful day, God bless, and stay upright.